All the uh, rain and snow, Lake Oroville is having to make room for it all. The Department of Water Resources says the reservoir is sitting at 860 feet. That's 83 percent full, 40 feet below full pool. So far, water is being released to the Feather River at 14,000 cubic feet per second to leave space in the reservoir. New tonight, take a look at this. Shasta County K-9 Ace is posing with the results of a traffic stop and arrest. Deputies pulled over a car on I-5 for, they say for a code violation, but they found Jason Cook and Brad Wyan, both of Anderson, with 1.46 pounds of what they believe is meth, 26 grams of marijuana and other paraphernalia and items for narcotic sales. Cook and Wyan were arrested and booked into the Shasta County Jail. New details now about the deadly dentist office shooting in San Diego County. A suspect was arrested in connection with that shooting. Now, police say officers found three victims inside the dental office. One man died at the scene. The other two were taken to the hospital. Today, the, the uh, injured in serious condition, they're in stable condition, though, are expected to survive. Police say the gunman is Mohammed Abdul Karim, who fled the scene in a rented U-Haul pickup. One woman says what she saw you know like those little like firecrackers so I, like i thought like little kids were lighting them off because they usually do it around here so i was like not trying to like worry about it but on the way back i see like the police like cop cars like stopping the traffic i'm like oh maybe someone got shot or something police say the suspect was found with a loaded handgun an investigation continues, but police believe that he was a disgruntled former patient. The suspect is being held on uh, without bail. One count of murder, two counts of attempted murder. New details now in the complaint against Chico City Council member Addison Winslow. The Fair Political Practice Commission says it will not take action. Last week, former city council candidate Nicole Nava filed the complaint accusing Winslow of being a paid employee of the Butte Environmental Council, a nonprofit group that opposes the Valley's Edge project, which will be on Tuesday's ballot for public approval. Winslow says he worked with the nonprofit before taking office. The complaint also objected to Winslow using social media to express his opposition to the project before voting on it last year. The commission said in a statement that while a source of income may be a conflict of interest, that doesn't apply to former employees. The commission said it does not regulate social media content unless it's considered an advertisement. We have a full statement on our website if you just look for this story. Tonight was the Reading Rancheria Community Fund annual dinner and the theme? Barbie. The CEO of the Reading Rancheria says they invited all nonprofit groups in the community who benefited from the fund to tonight's dinner. There was the not just the dinner, but an auction, a raffle for one nonprofit group to get another $10,000 grant. The funds come from employees of Wind River Casino who want to donate to the fund and from the states of the tribe fundraiser. The weather maybe less than pleasant, but the show must go on. It is opening night for the annual musical production by Inspire School of Arts and Sciences. Yes, it's the Cole Porter classic, Anything Goes. Performances take place at the Paradise Performing Arts Center. This is the school's big annual fundraising event as well, so don't let the weather scare you out of enjoying this great production. Saturday, tomorrow, there's a 1 p.m. matinee and a 7 p.m. evening show. Then on Sunday, one more performance at 1 p.m. Tickets are $15. And for more information, we've put a link on our website under News, then News Links.